be again. So, we're going to be learning about the Middle East. So, we have a lot of countries that we will be doing, interviewing countries. So, we got Saudi Arabia, Oman, and we'll do all the other rest. So, let's start. First on our list, we have Bahrain. A small country that is in the Middle East, but closest to Qatar and Saudi Arabia, and uh, it also has the Bahrain. Manama is the capital of it, and I think that's the real. I think that's the that's the only city. That's the only city in Bahrain. So Bahrain um, has some other cool pictures like this. The water slides that they have is this. Amazing, the giant cap capital tower, I think that's the tower that gets all their power, like, that's where they, where they really look at. That's, um, uh, skyscrapers. They're just really cool, so you can go learn about those. And next on our list, we have Qatar. Qatar is, has a capital came named Doha. And I don't know, Doha, Doha, Doha. Is Doha in here? So let's see a cat here. So we got a cat here. Or cats. Cats love Qatar. Probably where cats were came from. Qatar probably. And here's some city. This is Doha, the cat diddle. And and it's the biggest. Here is the museum. So here's so we're at the museum. Right here is the museum. So the museum is um literally where they show the history how Qatar really was in the old nineties or seventies or eighties. And here's the tower. Here's the power. Here's the the electricity tower where Doha gets and Qatar gets all of its power and. And here's the electricity tower again. And here's what it looks like at nighttime and the moon. Right here you can see it. And it's very interesting how you guys can see this. And it's like a really cool place. If you guys haven't ever been to Doha, let me know in the comments. And okay. So now... We're going to go to the United Arab Emirates. We're done with Qatar, now the UAE. It's known as the UAE. So, um, the United Arab Emirates has the capital named Abu Dhabi. And Abu Dhabi is uh, the capital of the United Arab Emirates. And Abu Dhabi is, um, so Abu Dhabi is here right here. Um, so this looks like the capital of the UAE, I think. And here's the wonderful city. Look at so this is a city. It looks very cool. It looks better than New York City. It looks way better than New York City, by the way. <clears throat> and here is the most prettiest part of that place. This is the prettiest part of it. It's a really cool place. Look, it. How cool does this look like? And then we got the tower of the United Arab Emirates. And the king of the UAE probably lives there. Because, you know, like, the United Arab Emirates. Emirates also means royal. So the, the, so the, the Emirates... A royal, so the royalty there. So, and then we got, alright, so we're done with the UAE. Let's go to Iran. So, Iran is a, like, a grass desert, whatever you want to call it. And the capital of Iran is Tehran. 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 Um, so, Tehran is a big city. It is really cool in here. Is the museum um like an old city? And here's the here's the fountains, <clears throat> the fountain and the tower there, and the emirates and stuff. And this is a really cool place. You probably want to go there. And here is, I think this is the 
this is a museum, and there's some mountains right here, and here is the freeway, or highway, it's the highway, and here is the tower of Iran. That is what makes all the generation generate the, the power, and it makes them, it helps, um, um, like, you can watch TV in Iran, it helps the internet to, to connect, and, and here is the mountain, here's Tehran also, <laughs> Tehran is a big city, it's Iran's biggest city there, and we have it, um, right here, the tunnel, mountains, the giant tower here, um, and we also have some cool stuff like cars, people, and the Iranian government probably would not. Oh, here's the Iranian king's crown. So he's an emirate, and that means he's raw. So, and here is, a, um, I think that's a bridge or something. No, it's not a bridge. It probably is a bridge. The bridge right there. Then we got his crown. His I don't really know what his name is. But whoever his name is, he probably is the one who's... And so we all know that the Middle East has been having a lot of wars, like Iran has been having wars. And here's the Iranian food, like, um, I don't really know much about Iran, but I know a lot about Iran, but I don't really know anything about the foods there. So here's the vegetables. Here they have the vegetables already here. Um, so they have like tomatoes and I think those are like little peas. Pea? Yeah, peas? Um, and I think that's like I think that's sweet potato. They have um, they have like they have they have um, cabbage, broccoli, <coughs> eggplant is their favorite. They really love eggplant. And they also have, um, is it what it looks like at nighttime? That's really cool, I think. I don't really want to go to Iowa now. Like, I'm glad they have photos of these. Yeah, it's too long. And it goes all the way to out there. To out here, it goes all the way out to here and around. It's like there's mountains surrounding I um, Tehran, and um, here is probably inside um the Emirates um um principal. I mean um castle. I think because you know like the Middle East is pretty well though, so um. All right, next up, we have Iraq. Iraq is a, is called the war, the country of wars, if you want to call it that. Iraq has been just having war or wars. And then after Iraq, we'll do Syria. They've been having a lot of wars also, just like Iraq. Iran sometimes, but Baghdad, Baghdad, so Baghdad is, Baghdad is the capital of Iraq, so... Uh, uh, it's all right here. Um, so, um, here's the buildings. Um, let's see more about the fairs and stuff. So, here's the nightly fair, and they have um, the uh, all right, they have the like the Syrian one. I mean, they have the the Capitol building, and you can drive by a lot. They also have this, they have the Syrian flag, and I think that's the Greek flag. I don't know, it's probably the army flag. And, um, there were some people, and they wear, like, stuff around their heads, so, like, to keep the sand from getting on them. And they can, like, hurt their heads. And here are the kings of Iraq. Iraq has a lot of history if you go in here. These aren't real people if you see these, but in, they used to be real people, 
but they're just made out of like clay and stuff. So they don't really. They look really real. So you guys bought. Here is like um, a lot of people surrounding this place. <clears throat> Here's a lot of people. What you guys know, this is there's a lot of people, there's buildings, there's trees, and then what millions of people sur surrounding it. Oh, millions of Arabic people. And this, this is the king of Iraq, but he died long, millions of years ago. So, um, over here, we got the king of Iraq, and here used to be his old place. And, um, this is Baghdad, all about Baghdad. They have cool history. They have the bowl that, um, the bowl of Iraq. So, the, the bowl of Iraq is the cow that, that survived during, like, 200 civil wars and it didn't even get bombed or hurt. It survived and it became famous in 1876 and here is um a pole this, this is the pole of our iraq so people like this is a big giant pole or lake or i don't know what it is but it, i can just call it a swimming pool but it's it's a lake it's a lake no it's a lake not a swimming pool god i'm saying it's dumb all right so this is the king. If you guys see him, um, so this was a statue that I think the king's son made a statue of his father. So, so after he died, they would remember him, and then they made a very ugly making of the king. Like they make they made him an animal, and I didn't. I don't think a lot of Arabic people really like that. I don't know who made that, but that's very kind of rude. But this is the real king, without him having a horse body. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to get out of Iraq. I'm so tired of doing this. Iraq is just too much. You're too much, Iraq. <laughs> Alright. So we're going to Iraq. Um, next is Syria. So Syria has been having so much wars with like Lebanese people, but Syria is a you can call it a war country like Iraq also. So like Syria, the mass is in the, the city called Damascus is the capital of Syria. So we're gonna see pictures of S S Damascus. So this is Damascus right here. Um, here's the building of the capital. There's not that much at Syria. Here is um, yeah, this is the Emirates. Where the Emirates really are. This is where the Emirates live. But the Emirates usually don't like like cyber. They like the only royal emirates. Emirate means royal in Arabic. So that's enough about Syria. I want to get, get closest to Lebanon. Because Lebanon just had a big explosion. In the capital, Beirut, is the capital of Lebanon. So Lebanon, okay, I can't really. It's loading. The Lebanon, it's. Lebanon is the Lebanese Republic. So here's where the explosion happened. Right here, I think it, like there was like a weapon shop here in Beirut. Beirut is here. This is Beirut. It's mostly the town's destroyed right now. Mostly the city's pretty destroyed. Oh wait, I went on maps. All right, Lebanon has nothing. Nothing. It's nothing. Except for a cool crescent moon right there. Um, it's really cool. Lebanon is really cool, actually. Beirut um, is the capital of Lebanon. Here's Lebanon's oldest people. And here's like Lebanon has the horse 
Um, the Lebanese horse is a animal that those millions of them are, are dead and alive. But and here is on Lebanon, there's two rocky, um, like I don't know, like terrain on it. And here is the Capitol building where the Emirate lives. The real king, the Emirate king lives here. In this um capital building, and it's also the castle of it. And like like I said, Arab Arab is really royal. So enough enough about Lebanon. Let's go over the palace. Let's go to Israel. Israel, yes, Israel, Israel. Um, is a Middle East country by the Mediterranean Sea. So it touches the Mediterranean Sea, like Lebanon touches the Mediterranean Sea. So Israel has a capital building, Jerusalem. This is Jerusalem. So this is the capital named Jerusalem. It's the capital of Israel. So I had a classmate named for Israel actually, and um. Yeah, I don't want to say anything about Israel. And here we have when the West Bank is part of Israel. What? This is part of Israel, except this is his, his own country. It's Palestine, not well. Now it's called Gaza Strip, but it's Palestine. This is Palestine. All right. It's so this is Palestine, and Palestine is known for. The capital of Palestine is called Gaza. So Gaza is the capital of Palestine. So Palestine it says the language Palestinian. All right, so Palestinian stuff. Usually Palestine really was would be really cool. Um, it's way better. Um, here's the like the ocean. Um, the, like the sun setting, um, thunderstorms on a rainy night in Palestine, and here is a festival. I don't know what this is, but that is epic. That's sick. That makes me. <laughs> that is like fire burning. It's like lava, and here is a rainbow and. It was at night time, and you know, the Middle East cities are pretty cool. But only if someone's like bombing you, it's not really that cool. So this is Palestine. Welcome to Palestine, man. All right, we're gonna do Saudi Arabia. I wanted to do Saudi Arabia. So Saudi Arabia is a country called an Arabic country. It's the biggest. It's the largest country in. In the air, in in the Middle East, the biggest country there, and so Saudi Arabia is cap. This is Riyadh. It's called Riyadh. So Riyadh is the ca capital of Saudi Arabia, and the and the largest city of Saudi Arabia also. And Saudi Arabia has its capital building, but it's green and like some. I don't know how they made it. They painted it green, and um, and here they have some skyscrapers, awesome beaches, um, like rocky terrain, stuff like that, and then they have um, uh, um, the sand, the sand and the sand. Like it's a sandy place. It, it's it, it's known for its sand. And they have camel riding there. And now, let's get out of Saudi Arabia. I spent too much time on Iran and Qatar and Bahrain and UAE. And then, let's do Egypt. Um, then Jordan. And then we got Oman. And then we got Yemen. And that's all. So. No, wait. Then we got two more countries. Turkey and Cyprus. All right, all right. Cairo is a big city. So you've probably been thinking when you were a kid, 
We never thought that there was any cities in Egypt. Wrong. There was millions of cities here. Like, Cairo is the biggest city in, in all of Egypt. So, um, they have a lot of, like, the king, the Egyptian kings, the, this is the, the Lion King. It, it's an, it's a big amulet place. It's the, it's an amulet, and the amulets are, like, these guys. This is the statues. What they looked like. Yeah. <coughs> I think this is the queen, but I don't know. It looks kind of weird. And here they have um, a festival. It's probably an Egyptian festival. Here, um, I don't see the Capitol building. And the shops, they have shops here. Some shop. Cairo is always a busy place. Um, so this is the shops of Cairo. So Cairo is a, it's a pretty cool country. I don't really know much about Egypt. I watched Alexi's video of it though. And here's the animals that um, they used to have. And now they really don't have that much animals except for that weird, ooh, that weird. I don't know that brown animal there. And, alright, so we're done with Egypt. So, Cairo's the capital of Egypt. Alright, now we're gonna go to Jordan. Alright, Jordan. Jordan, Jordan, Michael Jordan. <laughs> alright, so Amon is the capital of Jordan. Let's check it out right now. So, Jordan is known for its. Weighted city, this weighted village that was weighted millions of years ago by other people would take over this place in Jordan. And here, Amman is the capital. Amman, it, Amman is the capital of Jordan, and Jordan says his name. But I didn't know it was a country also. And and the Georgian statues are mostly known for it's made out of like this. It's made they're made of rock and paste. And and the paste is mostly made of clay. And this is made out of hood and stone. And here we need to scroll into it. A little bit, see what's around here, what's around. There's some in the background, that's... So, here's the Capitol building of the Emirate Jordan. Here is the Capitol building, right here. This is the Capitol building, right here. And this is where the Emirate lives. In the UAE, is mostly very... Alright, Jordan. So we did a lot of countries like um, Oman. What's Oman? What really is Oman? Have you guys ever played Oman? Let's do Oman. It's Muscat. We're not gonna do that much of Oman. We're just going to make it faster. So here's the um the museum. Here's the Capitol building, and um, here is the. Um, they have the, the arts of, of, um, the animals that are really populated in, in Oman, and Omanian people usually like to do a lot of weird stuff with their animals, and here, alright, let's do more, like, Yemen. Uh, we won't do Kuwait, sadly. Let's just do Kuwait. Kuwait City, capital of Kuwait, Kuwait, is a cool place. And, like, Kuwait City, wow, man, I can't really work. So this is, um, this is all oh, the background noise. Oh, wait. So, this is Kuwait City. Okay, I'm out of Kuwait. Kuwait has nothing. Nothing. They have no history. It's a new country to the U. 
we need the amulets. Um, so I'm doing a video. Can you guys go away? Right. Yemen! Yemen! Sana is the capital. Sana is the capital. Is the capital. And we'll just see. Alright. We're doing a video of the geography in the Middle East. So. Ge our geographies. So this is all the pictures of it, especially the fairs are really cool. They have like some illegal laws that you can't do, a lot of a lot of stuff that you can't do, can do in Yemen. And Yemen has been having a war for a long time. So um, let's do Turkey. Turkey goes and also an animal culture, and the capital of Turkey is called Ankara. Ankara is the capital, and they have the capital building right here. Well, I don't think that's this is the capital building, but this is the museum. So if you guys can see the statue of here, we got the statue of here. They got the famous lakes, and they also have some cool foods there. But I don't see see the foods. They have so on call All right, last but not least, we have Cyprus. Cyprus is a country, um, that's in Europe and Asia, and then this is northern Cyprus. But it's it's a it's part, it's a it's a ward of Cyprus. So Nicosia is the capital of Cyprus. So First of all, they have a cool city. They have some cool deserts. They have some cool statues. They have um, a castle. They have towers. They have everything. They have statues. They have all that stuff. So bye, guys. Sorry about the background noise, but this is this this is um the Middle East. All right.